Je pars le lundi matin vers 3-4 heures. Et on rentre le vendredi vers 3-4 heures du matin. Ben en mer, on va dire que tu es un peu tranquille. Tu n'as pas d'autoroute, tu n'es pas sur la route, tu es, es en plein air. La mer, c'est un aquarium, il y a plein d'espèces différentes. Et il faut l'avouer, il y a de moins en moins de poissons par rapport à avant. The science of safety net really comes from this research that was done back in the 1970s. It just seemed crazy. We hadn't come up with ways of addressing this issue of selectivity. We can't catch only the fish that we want to catch. Aujourd'hui, on est vachement embêté avec les quotas. Ensuite, euh, des bateaux de l'artisanal comme nous, ça risque de plus exister dans pas longtemps. Si, dans certains endroits dans, de la mer du Nord, mais par ici, il y a du rouge et barbé, il y a du merlan, il y a de la sèche, il y a de la cornée. We want to help make sustainable fishing practices more effective. Everyone cares about this project and problem. It's more that there isn't necessarily the technology out there or there wasn't out there. What really changed was that the focus much more strongly shifted towards light. There was this whole universe of possibilities that opened up. As humans, we cannot see infrared or UV light. It's just invisible to us. And it turns out that different species of fish also have these invisible blind spots. For one species, it may be blue light that's invisible or highly visible. For another, it might be green. And that's totally to do with where they've evolved inside the ocean. Just how effective can this be? Let's go and test it. So from that seed of knowledge, we've now built more and more robust things. Lots of different variations of light emitting products, basically. But Pisces is the one that we've really put most of our resources and effort into in the last year or so. So in Pisces, when you want to fish for a particular species, the fishermen would set the light the appropriate colour, send it underwater on their nets, and the attraction or repulsion happens. In terms of results, light being used as a bycatch mitigation tool has been shown to reduce bycatch by up to 90% in some cases. And that has been phenomenal. We've seen different varieties of successes across various species, also across various geographies around the world that we're doing case studies with. Bah moi, je suis à fond dans ce projet-là parce que je pense vraiment que ça va marcher. On a eu des bons résultats. Bah ensuite, bah les, nous, c'est plus important pour nous, c'est les lumières. We're trying something new. We're trying something that really hasn't been, you know, tried before. The value of having fishermen involved in our process is that they deal with this sort of stuff every single day of their lives. They will tell you very quickly what works, what doesn't work, what they've tried before. Nous, il faut, il faut vraiment la vie des professionnels, des pêcheurs. C'est très important qu'il y ait un échange. C'est ce qui va faire durer euh, la pêche dans le temps. Together, we can work towards that goal of solving all those problems in a way that makes sense. It is not an easy industry, and so we need to build that into everything that we provide to it as a supplier of technology. Talk to us, tell us what you need, and we will do everything we can to find a way to reach that goal.